But that day in May of 2017 was the first time that that comfort zone of mine got obliterated. And I was nervous, I was scared, I was, I was unsure of myself. But yet at the same time, I was excited because I knew I was stepping into something that I had to improve in. Welcome back to Tom and Sense, everyone. So in today's video, I wanna gear this towards the guys. And so in this video, he had talked about the sorts of things the guys can do to get out of the funk that they're in. Living day to day, but you're not really getting after it. You don't really have a drive or a purpose of those things. You know, like that meaning that you had or you want. Uh, he had talked about some great things. And so I kind of just want to go off of that subject and kind of put my own spin on it. I can see that in my life, the things that he's talking about, but I want to apply the lessons that I learned. As far as financial standings are concerned, Bedros is up here, I'm down here. So I am where the majority, I would say the majority of Canadians and Americans are. Bedros is up here and he's teaching people down here and that's awesome. But I'm here looking to get up here where Bedros is. And so I can relate to the average Canadian American guy who is going through those challenges right now and hasn't hit that peak. And I'm talking to you guys directly. There was a moment in time that changed the way that I look at my life right now. And that day was in May 2017. Now, how can I be so specific? That's the day that I signed my contract with WFG. If you guys are wondering why is that such an important day? Well, that's the first day that I actually stepped out of my comfort zone to be honest with everyone. Because everything I did before that was done for me. It was all selfish. It was either about uh, what I wanted to accomplish personally, but it was never anything that would have pushed me. So the military, even though I did it, was a selfish thing. I wanted to be in the military and I would do anything to get there. But on that day in May 2017, I actually stepped out into the unknown, into an environment that I wasn't sure of, an industry I wasn't aware of. Who wants to be an insurance salesman, right? I don't think any kid in high school or elementary school would be like, yeah, man, I want to be an insurance salesman. So for me, it was, very, it was a very difficult time, but it was also a very exciting time. And my close friends can still say that after that time or in and around that time, that's when they started to see a difference in the way I approached life and in the way I started to do things. I changed because I had to. And that's what I want for those guys out there listening right now. I want that for you. Am I saying you got to join WFG? No. But what I'm saying is you got to step out into something that you are, that's intriguing and that you want to do, right? WFG was never, uh, when I signed up, the only reason I did it was because I heard business opportunity and I wanted to have my own business. So that was the driving force for me. It wasn't about the money up front because I didn't know how much I was going to make, but all I heard is that I could have a business of my own. So if you guys are in that position where the reason that I got better and I started going to the gym and I started to eat better and I wanted to grow as an individual was because I was in an uncomfortable place. And so what do you do when you're uncomfortable? The first go-to is try to be comfortable. But when you realize that your comfort zone, and I've made a video about this, is literally killing you. You guys that are in your comfort zone that you, and I was there. I was so there before May 2017. I was so comfortable. I was going to a job, making, you know, over $100,000 a year. And you would think I was happy. I, I was working four days a week. And I've never been more miserable. Because I was so comfortable. I was... I had no drive. I had nothing to look forward to except for what am I going to do when I get to 65 and I get to leave this place. And I didn't want to live like that. And that step out of that comfort zone for me was in May 2017 when I said, you know what? I want to try something here. 
I'm gonna, I wanna run a business. I wanna get into business for myself. So that was the driving force. Now, should everyone start a business in Canada? Yes, I think everyone should have a business of their own. Now, what that business is for you, that's on you. I can't tell you. I can't tell you what you're passionate about. I can't tell you what you should be doing. But I know for me, when I started, it wasn't about that I'm going to be an insurance salesman. That's not what I was thinking. I said, I need to get into something that I can call my own. And WFG was a stepping stone into everything that's happening in my life right now. So I, that's why I don't hate WFG, right? I made a video about this too, why I left WFG, right? But I need you guys to understand that the reasoning for all the good habits that I have now, and yes, I'm still trying to get better. Yes, I'm still improving. Yes, there's still a growth trajectory for me. I had to get better. I had to look at life differently. And it's changed my outlook on life. Because when you're in an uncomfortable zone, in that uncomfortable feeling that you have in your skin, like this isn't me, right? You want to be as comfortable as soon as possible. But the, the trick with that is, guys, and this is, this is a, like a life tip, is the worst thing you can do is to go back. You never want to go back to feeling comfortable. Because as soon, try it. As soon as you feel uncomfortable, Try pushing that just a little bit. That day in May of 2017 was the first time that that comfort zone of mine got obliterated. And I was nervous, I was scared, I was, I, I was unsure of myself, but yet at the same time, I was excited. Because I knew I was stepping into something that I had to improve in. Common sense, because common sense isn't so common.